Welcome to today's video. My name is Wes from Cube Design, and today I'll be walking you through how to set up Cloudflare, just the basic functions of Cloudflare, and explain what we use it for. So we're going to be setting up the free version of Cloudflare. There's no reason to pay for it for uh, what we're going to use it for. Now we use Cloudflare for a couple of reasons. Um, the main reason is so we use Cloudflare to manage our DNS records uh, because we manage quite a few websites. It's a good centralized location to manage the DNS. Um, so instead of trying to log into our client's email, uh, our client's domain name register where they registered their domain name, um, we can just log into our Cloudflare account and manage the DNS records from there, which just make it a lot easier. And there's a couple of other things. So um, easy to use DNS, that's uh, important for us. Uh, DDoS protection, uh, it has a CDN and it they provide a universal SSL certificate. So just to explain a couple of things what those are. So what is a CDN? It's a content delivery network. Um, so this helps deliver uh, content of your website faster. So that improves the loading speed. And then protection against uh, DDoS attacks. So that's uh, cyber attacks where they flood your website uh, with malicious traffic. And that normally brings down your website because it just can't handle that volume of traffic. So it, it's pretty cheap to do. It's not uncommon. Um, we've had a couple of websites experience that in the past or clients come to us with that issue. And then an SSL certificate. So that's just um, a security certificate added to the website. So it just secures data transmitted um, from your browser to the website. There's a... Um, a description there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a free account with Cloudflare and um, show you how easy it is to set up. So close these windows. So we're going to add a new website here. We just uh, do a simple password. Having trouble with the verification here. So uh, the reason why that wouldn't work was because I just added a really simple password for this um, demonstration and it wouldn't accept it because it was an obvious password. So just make sure that's secure. And now we're going to add uh, our domain name. So your domain name is the website you want to use for your website. So we've added that. It does a quick scan. So if you do already have some DNS records set up, then it will automatically import those. Don't need any of this, you can just select free plan. So this is just importing the default uh, records. So you can continue to activation. Uh, 
So you need to change the name servers of your domain name to point to Cloudflare. So you can copy these and then you need to go to where your domain name is registered. Uh, this will be like 123reg or will be GoDaddy or something similar to that. And now you need to change the name servers. So the name servers will point to Cloudflare and that's where you're managing from. So this is where we're gonna change our name servers. You're gonna use your own, paste them in here. Normally there's two name servers for Cloudflare. Save those. So this can take some time to, um, to take effect. They advise that it could take between 24 and 48 hours. Really rare that that actually happens, but they do advise that. So now uh, we've changed the name server so we can continue. So yeah, we've done that. Here you go. So there's a notification that can just take a little while. So now we've set up the domain name to point to Cloudflare. So this is now the central location we can manage the DNS records. Um, so it's imported the settings from your current domain registrar. If you ha were happy with those, you can just leave it as it is. But if you wanted to change where the website is hosted from, so this is a brand new uh, domain name, brand new website. So now we want to point the um, domain name to your new hosting. So you would go to your hosting provider and you're looking for the site IP address. So we're hosting with uh, SiteGround. Uh, this is the IP number. So you can just copy that and then you can set this up. So you're looking to change the A records. This is the A record here. So you just want to change that. There's normally two A records, not unusual for there to be um, four if there's a specific setup of the hosting. So we've got the domain name and we've got the www record. We'll delete this because there shouldn't be um, three, three records in this instance. If you haven't got any A records, you can always add it here, you see. You've got the A record, you would put at, and then the IP address, or you would put www. And that would match these two here. And then this is your, um, we don't want these either. Those are the old name servers, which we're no longer using. And you can see here, these are the MX records. So the MX records um, are related to your mailbox settings. So wherever you're hosting your mailbox, that is where you would um, add these records to. So for instance, we're hosted with um, SiteGround. So if you go to email, so if we wanted to use the MX records, if we wanted to use SiteGround for uh, our email inbox, these would be the records we would need to add to Cloudflare to use SiteGround for our email accounts. Um, so that's the really basic set settings on how to set up um, Cloudflare for your domain name. Um, these are the general settings we use for Cloudflare. We've been using Cloudflare for a, a good 10 years now and never had to use one of their paid versions. Um, we always just use it for DDoS protection and for um, the CDN and for the free SSL certificate. The free SSL certificate can be managed here. Typically, we don't have any issues with this and the majority of the time, uh, your hosting comes with a free SSL certificate um, as well. So this isn't as crucial as it used to be in the past. Um, 
Yeah, so that's, that's the basic settings of how to add a domain name to Cloudflare and the settings you need to set up your uh, hosting account. Uh, thanks for watching. If you could like and subscribe, I would uh, really appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next one.